Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I do a video every FabFitFun sale where I record my computer screen and I go through the add-on sale or the edit sale items that are available and I talk about what I've learned and I talk about tips and tricks to help pare down your cart. Uh, I talk about what I do. So if you are interested in, please keep watching. I, I do not claim to be an expert in any of this and I am not affiliated with FabFitFun or sponsored by them in any way. I just really enjoy being a customer and I really enjoy interacting with all of you and learning from you as well. So please engage in conversation in the comments below. Feel free to disagree with what I say or say that you had a different experience or talk about something that I said I actually didn't learn anything about and share what you know. If you are one of the people that are really frustrated, I'm so sorry. I have I haven't had any experiences that make me frustrated, so I feel very lucky, but anyway, so let's get into talking about the sale items. Okay, so here we are. This is my screen. This is the ad on sale. I am going to first go over some things that I do to pare down my cart. I know it's so hard to chip away at your cart. I have currently $414 in my cart, which has not been easy to get down that much. After the glitches and the fiasco that we experienced the first couple of days, I was just clicking like crazy. And then when I could finally see my cart, I had something like $6,000 worth of stuff in here. So this is pretty amazing that I've gotten it down to $414. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about, I, I, so I have four things. Okay. I have four things that I do to uh, help me decide whether or not I'm going to get something. The first thing is that I check to see if it's cruelty free or not. I have decided to do my best to go cruelty free with my cosmetics, which is not easy. So if you're interested in using that trick as well, the places that I check are cruelty free kitty. So this is that website and cruelty free kitty. Here is the URL if you want to write that down. I also cross check it on ethical elephant. Uh, here's that website if you want to write that one down. And then I do check the PETA website. PETA is actually probably the best place to check. And the thing to keep in mind with these websites is they are run by volunteers who are really, really dedicated to the cause. So sometimes they're not entirely up to date or accurate and you can cross check amongst sites. Usually if it says something is uh, not cruelty free, it's accurate, but there are companies that will go cruelty free. For instance, CoverGirl went cruelty free in I think October 2018 and they, these sites do say that CoverGirl did. But So there are updates and changes that could happen and that may, there may be a delay where those those updates are reflected on these sites. Anyway, so that's what I one thing that I do. I check to see if it's cruelty free. Another thing is I've started to look at ingredients. So things like parabens and pegs and formaldehyde releasers, I try to avoid. And for that, I go to uh, this website. It's Skin Charisma. Dot com and it's the ingredient analyzer. So let's go back to their uh, home page and go to the cosmetics. So it's skincharisma.com and then here's the cosmetic analyzer and then they have uh, they have this pops up. So you can paste an ingredients list into this box and it will show you an analysis of the ingredients. So I'm going to go grab an ingredients list for, from something in here. Let's see. Let's just take, well, Juice Beauty is going to come back clean. I want to take something that might come back with questionable ingredients. Let's try this Fat Boy Tacky Oil. So I'm just going to copy these ingredients. I'm going to head back over to the Cosmetic Analyzer and paste them in here. I'm going to let it analyze it, and then we're going to see what pops up. So it's thinking. Okay, so here down below, this is the analysis. So here is the list of the ingredients right here. And it has some notes, for instance, denatured alcohol, it says it's bad for dry skin. And then there are ratings over here. So the EWG, that's the Environmental Working Group, and that is a site. So if, if the EWG has a bad rating on something, you can go and you can find out a little bit more on their website, uh, which is right here, the um, 
oh, it's not .com, it's E W G. And it's the Environmental Working Group. And you can go here and you can search that particular ingredient on their site and see what they have to say about it. I do notice that sometimes I want to know more than what the EWG site will tell me, and I end up just Googling the ingredient and reading different articles about it. Uh, and then here it also has this rating, which is another site, and it is the Cosmetic Ingredient Review, CIR Safety. And this is another site that has uh, details on ingredients. I actually just learned about this site, so I don't uh, know it as well. But this is another place that you can go and you can play around and to learn about the ingredients. You can search their ingredient, the ingredient name here and then see what comes up. So let's look up alcohol denat and see what happens. So here it pops up. Oh, oh wow, so this comes up with really detailed info that you can read about the ingredients. So if you're like me and you kind of get lost in the rabbit hole of learning about these things, this would be a really good place to look too if you're interested in the ingredients. And then, so that's that's essentially the ingredients piece. Another way that I pare down my car is if I'm looking for ratings and I just dig and dig and dig and I can hardly find any or there aren't any or if all the ratings are on the manufacturer's web website but nowhere else, I pretty much have decided I'm just going to pass because it's just not worth the gamble. And then the last way that I pare my cart down is if on the forum, the community forum or in reviews, People talk about a strong scent and some people love it and some people hate it. I've decided that that has proven to be too much of a gamble for me to make sure that I like it. So if I can't actually go in to a Sephora or an Ulta or wherever the product might be to smell it myself before buying it, I have just decided I am going to eliminate it from my cart. It has been too much of a gamble. I have gotten some things where it just became unusable for me because I just did not like the smell. So those are the ways that I pared down my cart. Now I have some tips and tricks for getting involved with the community and asking questions about the products to the actual FabFitFun staff. I highly, highly recommend you go to the community forum. And I'm recapping. If you're not new to my channel, I'm sorry if a lot of this is redundant. I'm doing this mostly for people that are new here. So. Uh, Anyway, so I highly suggest that you go to the community forum. These are the forum topics that I have been stalking. Uh, and so, well, let me show you. This is the community forum here. So this is what it looks like. All the topics are on this side of the screen. You can scroll and scroll and scroll, and you can see how active people are on this site. Anyway, so that this is the main community forum, and if there's anything here that interests you, you should definitely start following the threads. This, this is one of the threads that I have been stocking for this sale, hard passes. So this is where people can go in and say, heck no, I would never buy this, and here is why. This is another one, summer add-on reviews, and it's exactly what it sounds like and so I have been following this I am now uh, almost 40 uh, posts behind on it but I have been following it since it began and then the last post that I'm following and this one I highly recommend you uh, you join and follow, especially if you want to ask a question directly to this amazing woman, Nicole Lerner. She starts a thread for every sale, and it is where you can ask her any questions you have about the items that are available. And oh my gosh, I don't know if she just doesn't sleep during the sales or what, but she's amazing. She always has a positive attitude, and she does her darndest to get us answers. So you can join this if you have any questions about what you are interested in potentially purchasing. So definitely check out the forum. And then a couple more tips when it comes to actually navigating the FabFitFun sales is if you aren't sure if you are going to get something and you don't know if it'll ever be available again, one place that you should oops, one place that you should pay attention to is this last call tab. If something is under the last call tab, there is a high likelihood that it won't be available in another sale anytime in the near future. So if you are on the fence, check here and see if it isn't here. 
And then another thing that a lot of people do, you may see people talking about playing the refresh game to see if they can snag something and add it to their cart. What that means is somebody has added something to their favorites. You can add something to your favorites by clicking this little heart right here. And then when it's added, it the heart turns red. And then you can go to the My Favorites tab right here. And that way you don't have to uh, wait and scroll and scroll and scroll through the entire um, list of products to see if what you have has, it has is available. You can just go to your favorites. I have a lot of things in my favorites right now, it looks like. Anyway, so they should see, and then now it's out of stock there. So my favorites and then those those items will show up as available in a short list for you if they well hopefully they'll show up as available in a short list for you uh, it's interesting in, yeah in a, in a short sorry about that uh, so in a short list for you you don't have to go to the all and wait and scroll all the way through everything that's available for sale see look how long it's taking to get to that product and see if it's available something that's new also that I think FabFitFun added a couple of sales ago is a search feature so this little magnifying glass right here you could also do this and and search so if I searched Kate Somerville it would pop up with all the Kate Somerville products. I'm not going to actually do it right now, but definitely use the search tool. I think that that was new as of winter. Uh, so those are my tips as far as the uh, sale, navigating the sale is concerned and the forum. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get all of the items to load so that when I finally talk about the products, they're already loaded. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to show you what is in my cart so far. I am, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. This is the 10 degrees cooler uh, oil. People say this is so amazing. Everyone seems to agree that this smell is god awful, but that it is worth it because it is just so amazing. And it better be because the retail price is $150. The ingredients on this are awesome. I I, I just have to try it after hearing so many people talk. One person in the forum said it smelled like burnt tires. I don't know about that. Other people just laughed about it, but people definitely say it does not smell good, but it's awesome. So I am going to go ahead and give it a try and see how it goes. I will do a review for you on all of these products like I usually do when I can get around to it. I am getting this Grown Alchemist cleanser. Uh, some people do say that it is it doesn't have the greatest scent either. I have seen a couple people say that in the forum, and I'm a little bit skeptical now, but I love trying Grown Alchemist products. They're, they're just botanical. Their practices are amazing. I really do like trying their things. I haven't loved everything. I definitely haven't loved everything, but I'd like to try it. I'm going to give it a go. And then I have the gel mask by Grown Alchemist. I have used this before, and it... Um, is a lovely mask to use. I've actually talked about it in a review where if it came up in a sale, I probably wouldn't get it again, but of course I have one reserved for myself in my cart and I will decide ultimately if I want to. It feels quite nice. It has a subtle scent and it, it's very soothing and relaxing to use. I wouldn't say it was anything life-changing, but I am considering getting another one. I did enjoy using it. And then I have raved about the exfoliant by Grown Alchemist. I don't know why when I click on something the the summaries are going up to the top of my screen. So I'm sorry I have to keep on scrolling around like that. But I so my first tube of this I got in the fall 2018 box and I just love that. I raved about it multiple times on my channel and then I ran out and then I went onto the Facebook FabFitFun buy, sell, sell, buy, sell, trade group, which I highly recommend you join if you haven't. I went onto that site and I bought another one and the second tube I got smel smelled much more mild and similar and then the feel of the formula was slightly different and I didn't love I wasn't as in love with that tube as I was with the first tube so that said I don't know that there's uh, 
Oh, also, somebody had left a comment on my channel when I reviewed and raved about it that their tube smelled like stale bread. So there's a little bit of inconsistency from tube to tube with this product. And I, I think that goes to show that uh, there aren't chemicals in it that ensure that it blends super evenly and it is very botanical and all natural ingredients. You can just kind of see it by skimming right here. And that is what Grown Alchemist is known for and pride them they pride themselves on they pride themselves on that. So I think that that could have something to do with it. I do not want to get a tube that smells like stale bread, but I still do really like it. I probably won't get three. I think I will get two of these, but I have three reserved. Um, and then I am going, oh, I'm going to get this, this Hey Honey Walk the Walk Propolis uh, foot and heel cream. And if you wonder, if you haven't learned what propolis is, propolis comes from bees and it is what they use to make a glue to build their hives. So it's a mix of their saliva and tree sap and maybe honey. And they use it to build their hives and to get their hives to stick to things. Anyway, so I'm not sure how propolis is harvested. I did watch a YouTube video about it to see. And it's harvested by beekeepers that also harvest honey. And I love eating honey. So I think it definitely if you're vegan, propolis you would want to stay away from. It comes from bees. But for me, I think I feel comfortable uh, using it. Now, an ingredient that I have decided to steer clear from, and I'm just seeing this now, are these, the pegs. And they have, there's a lot of talk about these being toxic to our systems. Pegs are in things because they help things absorb into our, our skin. And I, so I'm, I will suck in myself now that I'm seeing that on whether or not I'm going to get this. And I will leave a link to pegs at the bottom in the description box. And also you can test yourself right now and go to those websites that I talked about earlier on in this video to see, uh, to learn for yourself that way about pegs if you want to try it out. Uh, try try those websites out and along the lines of hey honey I am curious about this lip balm I've been really into wearing a nice lip balm every night before I go to sleep this also has the propolis in it which I think is and it's an ingredient that I really think is effective I have to decide if I, I I'm not vegan I am going cruelty free but at this point I am not vegan uh, at this point I don't know if I could ever go vegan I that's Anyway, I'm not I'm not talking about that right now. So, uh, and then peg, um, it has a peg, and I'm just seeing that now. So I will be second second guessing myself on if I want to get the hay honey, uh, just because I would, uh, avoiding pegs is a choice I've made for myself to um, try to do, and it helps me save money as well. So that is another reason. The ingredient if you don't. If you aren't interested in being cruelty free or avoiding those ingredients, you could do it regardless because it really does help to cut things from your cart if that is just kind of a way, a method you would use to save money, if nothing else. These JJ Young masks, uh, they have great reviews and they look super fun. I might cut these from my cart. Be they're available at TJ, uh, not TJ Maxx. They're available at places like CVS and Walgreens or, you know, the drugstore. And they're not terribly expensive. They're not in the last call. So I think that if I see that people are really, really loving these, this one too, if people are really, really loving these and raving about it, I might just go and spring for it at the CVS or the Walgreens. Because although it's you know, it's $18. That's not, that's not terribly expensive. I'm not feeling like I'm missing out on a huge, crazy deal if I do that. Also, again, they're not in the last call. So these I might cut from my cart. People love the no BS stuff and I need a vitamin C serum. So I'm going with this one. Um, the ingredients at first glance look great. It says it's cruelty free. Honestly, FabFitFun gets a lot of details wrong, I feel like, in these description boxes. So that would be another instance. If you are seeing a description and you see something that doesn't look right, you could go to the this forum and ask this person that I just raved about, Nicole Lerner. She's just awesome. She Oh, and she's so pretty, too. She is awesome. She she will get back to you. She just does. I don't know how she does it. Anyway, so... um. 
yeah, so a lot of people are saying great things about this. So, um, let skin absorb, oh, with SP, I thought this was saying it had SPF. No, there's just a cute little joke in there. Anyway, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry for my little digressions. I don't edit these, um, these videos where I record my screens. So, then a lot of people are saying excellent that this this stuff is excellent too the hyaluronic cream by NoBS so I am that's I have one reserved for myself in my cart that I will likely get I will likely get that people rave about that um, Noto I stand by <laughs> the practices of this company cruelty free uh, they support good causes when they can by um, donating proceeds from products to uh, different kinds of causes I um, I don't know if I'm going to get this I actually have to have to look at reviews for this one I'm not sure quite yet but I do I do suffer from saggy neck skin one of my skin concerns is firmness and this is uh, looks like a good neck cream anyway and then Terra Mare is a lovely lovely organic vegan high-end skincare line this retails for $108 and I have yet to try a product that has niacinamide in it which is also vitamin b3 and I thought hey maybe I want to incorporate that nutrient into my skincare routine and you know we get we have so many different things to use on our skin because our skin needs a variety of nutrients right so if you have a few different moisturizers if they have different ingredients they serve different purposes so it's kind of like I've heard the argument that we can't live on eating just cucumbers if we could live on eating just cucumbers then that'd be great but so we can't expect our skin to be at its best with just one skincare product we need a variety of nutrients for our skin that's what I've heard multiple times from people who are who have are who seem to be experts on the subject and that's that's so that's what I'm getting at is I have not tried niacinamide before and maybe that is something that my skin would really appreciate it is good for a lot of things and I think it I believe it is good for all skin types um, in even oily if you have oily skin I believe it's good for skin types this has amazing amazing reviews and there is uh, there are two available. The one I have in my cart right here is good for dry combination skin, and the other one that I don't have in my cart is good for combination to oily skin. So I, I, these have amazing reviews. I'm really excited to try this, and yeah, that's uh, that's all I can say about this. The ingredients, nothing is popping out at me, but again, I showed you the the ingredient checker and the, the website so you can learn a little bit more about that. Also, what I failed to mention, I meant to, is on this ingredient checker site, something else that I learned is that you can go in and you can create a login for yourself. You see there's a little login right up here where I'm moving my mouse cursor around. And then you can also create your own profile where you can add ingredients to your profile to be flagged. So say you have very sensitive skin and you know you're allergic to a lot of different preservative ingredients. A lot of people with sensitive skin, that's their, their issue. It's the preservative ingredients in skincare products. There are other ingredients, of course, too. But that's one thing. So you can you can tell this website to flag those ingredients that you know that you yourself are allergic to. So I thought that that was really, really neat. I did not see that until this morning either. Okay, now back to my cart. I am getting, well, I'm not getting for sure most of this stuff, but I am, I am reserving a one of the each of these wander beauty sets these are both skincare centered and i am reserving them just because i do a lot of review videos and i thought that it would be fun if i could get these and i could do a wander beauty video down the line that's really why i have these reserved in my cart wander beauty i've seen tati review wander beauty products i've seen a lot of their products have some really good reviews so i'm very curious about that line and i haven't used anything by them yet 
I am getting this uh, R Co Acid Wash ACV rinse uh, that's very, very clarifying. I just bought an ACV rinse by, oh, I, I think it was called Love Naturals at TJ Maxx, and I used it, and it is, it's very nice. It's very clarifying. I think it is something that we should have in our hair care routines to use once every couple of weeks to get the gunky buildup out of our hair. Uh, and I really enjoyed using it. So I'm excited about the idea of trying this. People on the forum are saying that it's wonderful and I will likely keep that and get that. Uh, and then the r and Co. Deep End kin Kit. I need a shampoo and conditioner. Um, to use after what I have runs out. So I've never tried these. They had really decent reviews online and I am, and then it comes with this little sample, uh, moist, uh, the sample shine cream, which I, I was assuming is like a styling cream. Uh, we'll see, but it's a sample size. It's a travel size, so it's not like I'm committed to a whole bunch. And then it has its own little pouch. So I'm excited about that. I'm, uh, that's a, most definite that I will get that and try that out. Someone I just noticed in, this morning on the forum said this spray gel and she put a picture of her hair with it in it this morning and she looked awesome. It looked so good. I tend to stay away from the spray on products. I find them to be really suffocating but her hair looks so good, I think I might make an exception and just allow myself to suffocate for a few minutes to get that hair. And she said that it it doesn't feel crunchy, like gel often leaves your hair uh, feeling. And it, it so, yeah, so her, her hair just looks so good. I just went and I had to throw it in my cart. That's what the forum will do to you. But it will also... It, people will also say things that will help you eliminate things from your cart as well. But your cart often, well, my cart always does not look how I ever expected it to look at the end of the sale than I thought at the beginning. Uh, so, and then there's this mascara. I'm extremely curious about this 100% Pure Company. They have another, they have a vitamin C serum available in this sale as well. And I, uh, I'm really curious. This is made from all natural products and is dyed with uh, fruit ingredients. It has uh, black currant, it has raspberry, and this, so this company is called 100% Pure because they're, they pride themselves on using um, natural, pro with natural ingredients. Oh, of course the, of course it expires only after three months, but that would only make sense, right? So I'm, I'm very curious about trying this. I love trying new mascaras. I may not get it, but I am very happy to have learned about this company. And then the next thing is, oh, <coughs> excuse me. So I am, I wanted to, there are two Tarte palettes available in this sale, and I wanted to try both. So I put a poll up on the, um, one of the forums, and I put it on the summer add-on reviews. So if you go to this forum and you search for uh, Tarte, uh, my poll should come up. Anyway, um... Well, that's not working. But if you go to the summer add-on reviews and you and you scroll through, you'll see that I did put a poll. <laughs> it's there, I promise. And I put a poll between this one and the other Tarte palette that's available. And they came pretty close, but this one won by a narrow margin. And some so the difference is that people said that this one is more fun, more for dressing up, and the other one's better for every day. Also, there was somebody who left a comment that saying that the other one was better because she has cool tone skin, and so she th these colors didn't really match up with her as well. I'm pretty sure that my skin tone is neutral uh, so and and I don't wear everyday eyeshadows so I'm I decided to go with this one and I am excited to use it in a get ready with me video and uh, yeah so I am excited to be playing with eyeshadows this is that's a new thing in a new world for me along the lines of eyeshadows this Ciate uh, 
Astrolite's Jeweled Palette has excellent reviews and it looks so cute and pretty and that is I have one of those reserved in my cart as well. I'm trying to get to, to about $200. We will see. I will probably not get this but uh, because it does not have a lot of reviews. And as I mentioned, I have just decided that if I can't find very many reviews or any reviews, it I just... I've decided that that is a reason to cut something from my cart. However, I believe this was in last call, so I haven't been able to let go of it. And it does look really pretty. I saw a little demo video. It looks like it leaves a really pretty subtle blushy shimmer once you use it. I will probably not get it. but. I have that reserved. The Wander Beauty Exquisite Eye Liquid, these have excellent reviews. Really, really good reviews on Sephora and a lot of them. And again, Wander Beauty. I'm really curious about Wander Beauty. And I, like I said, I'm new to the world of eyeshadows and I've heard excellent things about the Luxie brushes. I, excellent, excellent things about the Luxie brushes. And so I am excited to get myself a, a eye, eye essential brush set by Luxie. Yay. Um, okay, so I'm definitely going to get those so that I can do my get ready with me videos. I have these in my cart. I got a pair of blue light blocker uh, glasses in the last sale and I use them sometimes. I just think that these are cute and I don't need glasses and I think sometimes I feel like they're a really cute accessory that I miss out on. I think that yeah, anyway, <laughs> I probably won't get those and don't need them. And I have been so curious to try a pre-workout supplement. Um, and basically, this just has a bunch of caffeine and green tea extracts. And is the, wait, let's see. Matcha tea and coffee. Anyway, ginseng. It's, it's basically just a shot of energy supplements for pre-workout but this this has really awesome reviews and I really want to I need to get into working out again I just do I feel so much better when I do and maybe this will help I don't know let me know have you used a workout supplement like that before um I'm so curious. So that's what's in my cart so far. So I want to go back to all of the sale because I have been obsessively reading and following the forum. And again, I started with $6,000 in my cart after the sale finally, they, they FabFitFun finally corrected the glitches in the website. So I researched most of what was in there before I dumped it. And, um, so I'm going to go through and, and tell you if I know anything about the products and why I might not be getting it. So Kate Somerville, I rule out Kate Somerville because they are, I it's the cruelty-free thing. Kate Somerville is cruelty-free, but they are owned by Unilever. Unilever is not cruelty-free, and Unilever owns a lot of stuff that is not cruelty-free. Now, that is if you're at all interested in going cruelty free, that's kind of a decision you have to make for yourself whether or not that's that's good enough. If the actual company, the Kate Somerville's cruelty free, if that's fine for you, and then go ahead and buy it. For me, it it it's it still feels like it's not cruelty free because they're owned by Unilever, and therefore I get to save. Say, if I was interested in buying this, I get to save forty nine dollars by just saying, okay. That is, um, that's a disqualifier for me. I won't be buying Kate Somerville products. So that how, that's how I'm able to eliminate that. I've heard, I've heard lovely things about daily concept stuff. I have the gloves that are available in the sale, and they're wonderful. They're exfoliating. They're very exfoliating. And then um, Lauren Jacobson. Hi, Lauren. She loves the towel that she got in the last sale, the body towel. And that's daily concept stuff. So from here on out, I'm just going to gloss over daily concept stuff. Uh, Dr. Brandt, they sell their products in China, and then therefore the Chinese government tests their products on animals and in order for Dr. Brandt to sell there. So they are not cruelty free. So I do not buy Dr. Brandt products. I've seen a lot of confusion about what exactly that means. Dr. Brandt themselves does not do the animal testing. The Chinese government does, but by choosing to sell in China, they are participating in animal testing. And so that's the rationale there with them not being cruelty free. I, um, I explored this and I explored the idea of getting this for a man in my life, but I didn't see anything that 
seem like any man in my life would really want. So I'm not going to get it. Uh, the smile sciences thing. I saw somebody post on the forum that if you, you can find a discount code and go to their site and, and she ended up getting the kit for something like $25. I don't know if that's true or if the discount code that she found was easy, easily accessible, but definitely explore that. And then she went on to say that she didn't end up thinking it worked very well. That's but that was one comment. Other than that, I haven't seen anything about it. Uh, I saw one person comment very generally about Milk Beauty products, that she doesn't like them, that when she receives their stuff in beauty boxes, she gives them to her child to play with. Uh, Butter London. I've seen Tati talk about Butter London stuff, and she says she, she likes... Uh, what did she like? She liked their eye stuff. I saw a video where she was playing with a jelly blush of theirs and she was wiggling it around. It was really, she's so cute. Uh, so Juice Beauty, I want to love Juice Beauty. Their stuff just doesn't have the greatest reviews and I am, I, they're organic. They are all natural. They, they're the kind of product you see in Whole Foods, but they just don't have the best reviews. And honestly, I've smelled a couple of their products. They smell kind of weird, which that is probably because they don't load their products with fragrance, which anyway. So I have decided I'm not going to give Juice Beauty much of a try. Um, these, this one, I couldn't find great, the greatest, uh, most helpful reviews on, so I just ended up not deciding not to get it. I'm going to gloss, if I don't talk about something, it's because I don't know anything about it. So there's a reason that I might skip something and that's why. I did, I wasn't able to find many reviews on this. I did look into this. I love lip colors and whatnot, but I don't think that it's long lasting and it's one of those limp plumping ones, which I feel like are just so gimmicky and never actually do any kind of plumping. So I, I, for me, I often get, um, I lose interest in those kinds of products quite quickly. Okay. So, oh, somebody that wrote, Rhode Isle, Rhode Isle was all over the last sale and I was so curious about them and no one knew much about them. And I'm starting to see comments from other people who purchased things from them in the last sale and have good things to say about their products. One person said that the diamond essence was amazing. Uh, it better be. It's $54. Um, it's kind of neat to see some other products from African Botanics. They're the ones that have that therapy gel that so many people rave about. A lot of people are asking about this because it is by um, that blue, the blue oil I mentioned that's in my cart. This is the same company, and a lot of people are very curious about this, but I haven't seen anybody able to answer those questions about whether or not it's good. I looked into this Fat Boy Tacky Oil because uh, I just love hair products, and I saw one video of somebody demonstrating it. It looks like it gives you the PC texture look, and it could be good. I don't know. I didn't see many reviews on it other than that. Um, let's see. Oh, the hand skin, glass skin set. This has the uh, skin essence, and it looks like it is, how big is that bottle? Uh, 150 milliliters. So this one is half the size of the one that came in the, uh, what was it, the winter edit that I got this one, this the uh, Hyaluron Skin Essence. It's lovely. It's a lovely essence, and you just put it, put a couple drops in your palm of your hand and push your palms together, and then you pat it onto your face, and it's really good dose of hyaluronic acid, and it helps your serums and stuff that you mix with it um, smooth, uh, uh, spread out and absorb into your skin. It's a lovely, lovely skin es essence. I haven't tried the other things, though. <clears throat> And then, um, let's see, Air, I tried something of theirs, a face wash. It came in my Pediver box, and it's a nice face wash. This is a very, um, they're, they're a vegan, cruelty-free company. They have great practice. I think they're based out of New York, yeah, NYC. And, um, yeah, so the face wash is nice. It's very cleansing. It has a very natural scent to it, and it's one of those types of companies, so fully support their practices, definitely. Um, <clears throat> cosmetics, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I received a mask of theirs in my cause box, and while it's a nice mask, I'm not aching or jumping to try anything else by them. That's pretty much what I have to say about them. Uh, 
I don't know. Oh, the immunology stuff. So Miss Still Pickle, she's a subscriber friend. Hi. She loves the immunology stuff, and I would really like to try it. I purchased it for my mother for Christmas, and, you know, she hasn't really said much about it. Um, but she's not as diehard into this stuff as I am, so she could love it, and I just don't know. Uh, but, but I do know uh, one person who swears by this. Hi, <laughs> Miss Dill Pickle. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, yeah, so that's immunology stuff, and she loves that stuff across the board, I believe. Uh, leave a comment in the comments below if you if I'm wrong, uh, please, um, Vicky. Anyway, so. Uh, I was really curious about this Habanera Marianella uh, Midnight Youth Potion, but I couldn't find a lot of reviews on it. Some, and, and they were okay, but yeah, so I ended up axing that from my cart. Chlorine tests on animals, uh, just like what I explained with Dr. Brandt, uh, so I, they're not cruelty-free. Um, you'll find if you go to the cruelty-free kitty or Peter or ethical elephant that that's the case. Uh, Corez, I have one of their... Um, body butters from a few sales ago. It's mulberry vanilla. It's very nice, very thick. It is a body butter. It's not a hand cream. It is not a lotion. It's a body butter, but it makes you feel incredibly soft. It does have some pegs in it. That is why I have decided not to purchase any more. And oh, also, oh, I just saw this. This is a formaldehyde releaser, so that's not good. And if you have sensitive skin, you could be some, you could be reactive to that. And uh, yeah, that's what I have to say about it. They're a Greek company. Um, yeah, it makes you feel very soft, but it has a couple questionable ingredients in it. Mad Skin Care. I'm not finding a whole lot of the best reviews, but nothing glowing. I've also decided if, if I can't find reviews on something that is over four stars, if it's four stars and under, I'm going to pass on it. That is another thing. And a lot of their stuff is right around there and not a whole lot of reviews. So I'm, I'm skipping Mad Skin Care. No one really talks about them on the forum either. This set is available on Amazon for $15. So I have that in my Amazon cart. I'm curious to try it. And let's see if it's, it says it's cruelty free here, a country of origin, South Korea. So it's Korean beauty. Uh, definitely um, double check the info that FabFitFun lists here. Sometimes it's just alarmingly incorrect and it's strange how it could have gotten so wrong and so mixed up. Uh, okay, so moving on, I didn't, I couldn't find hardly any reviews on this, and something that I try to keep in mind is that a lot of these companies are new, and they're up and coming, and they could be amazing, and you can't find reviews, and I, I still don't, I, I still don't purchase them, because it's just too much of a gamble. Uh, okay, so... Oh, people are saying great things about this. I would love, I would, this is a mineral sunscreen. So it has, it's not chemical. It has titanium, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide to uh, protect you from the sun. It, it doesn't have the harmful kinds of ingredients that are SPF. So this, this is not bad for us. This is, and it's tinted. So I would love to try to snag one of these people. A couple of people said pretty good things about it, but I didn't notice it until it was too late and they were all snagged. And I don't know, I don't know that this one's going to become available again. It looks awesome. I hope if you have it in your cart, good for you. I saw a YouTube video where somebody used this. This is the one, yeah, this is the one that can be used also as a primer no nope I'm mixing this up with another skin owl product that is available in this cell I don't know much about this one geranium though that might smell really good Sinage is another pro another line where I am not finding the most consistent reviews or enough reviews to feel confident to try what they have available from that company. This is the same company. Uh, this is from Cal Pharma. This is the same company that has that made the Namaste line that was available in the past few sales. They had a shower gel, a moisturizer, and a uh, cleanser, a skin, a face, facial cleanser, and 
I believe, from what I can tell, they're cruelty free. Somebody, I saw a couple of people that were really excited to see this available again. I put on a poll on the forum for a vitamin C serum, and I included this one, the No BS and the 100% Pure. And the one that won was the 100% Pure. No, 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 that's wrong. The one that won was the No BS. The second runner up was 100% Pure, and then this one was last. So there's that information for you. Uh, again, Tara Mer, excellent vegan, organic, high end skincare line. I've seen the people that ended up using this from uh, the Winter Box really liked it. I don't think that I would like that scent. I'm not too into very strong, sweet scents, but people that used it said yes, they liked it, they used it up. Um. This is another one of those products where it's available at CVS. I'm going to pass and I'm going to see what people say about it. It's not in last call. If people rave, hopefully I'll see it again and I'll give it a try then. This is the, I mentioned, I have the dry to combination skin version of this in my cart. This is the combination to oily skin version and it has amazing ratings. I am so excited to try it. Uh, more from Wonder Beauty. This is coming in one of those sets that I am going to be getting. I read, uh, nope, never mind. I'm mixing that up with something else. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, here's more glitter lip stuff from Ciate. I love the glitter lip flips that I got from them. Oh, here, this, uh, this, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's a makeup line that FabFitFun has been trying to sell to us for a long time and hands down across the board, all I see is people just saying it's awful. I couldn't find a swatch of this particular color, so I did. I, I dumped it from my box because I just don't know if I'm going li to like the color. It looks pretty, but I can't find anything on it. it. It's almost as though that color doesn't exist outside of this sale. Uh, this looks like a nice little inexpensive highlighting cream that you could mix with your uh, foundation. Uh, as far as I can tell, Beauty Crop is cruelty free. And yeah, so this one looks interesting. I ended up dumping it uh, because I have a K Voss one from my Pediver box. And this has pretty good reviews as well. I ended up dumping that. Ooh, I wanted this. Did I get it? Ah, uh, darn. I want this hairpin. I think it looks really pretty. And the this brush guard looked lo looks really awesome. I for travel you can put these on your brushes. I don't wear enough makeup or travel with brushes, so I decided not to get it. But I think down the road I would definitely look into something like this if I ended up if that ended up changing for me. Okay, and then. I want to thank my cozy Minnesota life. She's a subscriber friend. She does videos once in a while and she opened my mind to looking at jewelry. And I had been one of those people and a lot of people say this across the board, the FabFitFun jewelry, the jewelry available through FabFitFun is no good. And I was saying the same thing. However, I took a closer look after she said that she has had some really good luck with the jewelry and there are some that have really good metals that they're made out of and I am glad that I did. I had a couple of pieces in my cart and I ended up dumping them. I will tell you about them when I get to them. But for instance, I still won't get anything that is gold plated brass for jewelry and rhodium plated brass but there I have seen some stuff that um oh they're oh well here they're lead and nickel free so at least that but I just feel like at the prices I felt I was I feel like for these prices I want to be buying sterling silver and that's just how I feel about jewelry and by looking closer I did see that some of this stuff is made out of sterling silver so that's what I would open my mind to I oh and there are have there were some purses in here too I really liked oh I didn't know that fluoride was potentially bad for you so I just learned in this sale because there are these mineral toothpastes that fluoride it's not it's not so sketchy to be in our toothpastes. It's more when it's in drinking water in certain communities that it can be a real problem and really toxic. But if it's, I, I do agree with if something is known to be toxic, it's best to try to avoid it. And somebody said that this mineral 
toothpaste was really amazing and I had it in my box and now I have it in my box again. I just added it. I, I'm considering getting that. I, I think in toothpaste it might be not might, might not be so bad, but if we can avoid it, why not? So might give that a try. Uh, I let's see. I don't I don't tend to buy this kind of stuff just because I feel like oh, this is super cute, this chic and tonic thing, just because I feel like you can find this stuff at Ross, TJ Maxx, and it's not as much of an amazing opportunity as something like a Tarte palette. Uh, so I don't tend to get the trinkets. The times that I've seen the people most frustrated with FabFitFun has been when they've bought bulkier items like luggage or furniture or appliances, appliance off, they've, I've seen people discover that their appliances were refurbished and that's not what they expected. And, and so I, as a rule, I do avoid those just because I don't want to run into any frustrating problems with FabFitFun. I still love FabFitFun. I don't want to end up frustrated with them. I really, I, I, again, I'm sorry if you're in, in a situation where FabFitFun has just messed up so many times where you're feeling like you're discouraged from being a customer that that stinks and I want to acknowledge that anyway so uh, here are all the out of stock things more Kate Somerville uh, I don't know why but I don't have much interest in trying stuff from this brand and I don't see a lot of people talking about it uh, either oh the country of origin is China yeah I just there's something about this brand that I just just doesn't interest me. More milk makeup, uh, Lorac. Uh, I don't know much about Lorac. Oh, I did look this up. There was zero reviews on it. Um, surprised it's out of stock actually. It's neat to see that they have these themed mystery bundles. I am very very skeptical about the beauty guru one I feel like it might be full of ish products which is the FabFitFun makeup line and so many people say that it's awful so I'm worried about that or it could be full of the I don't know how to say it the douch the do douchy d-o-u-c-c-e makeup as well who knows uh and then if you're new and you haven't really looked at the bundles these are really great way if you want two or more of the items in the bundles they're a really great way to get those items and then a third item for like a dollar or two uh, yeah so let's see um i had this bundle in my cart for a little while Okay, moving past the bundles, more accessories. Again, I don't really do ex the accessories. I have seen people say that they love these um, Pier 1 bowls, that they use them for everything. So if you're a person who really likes those bowls, uh, you would probably really like these. They are quite small. They're, they're good for like two scoops of ice cream. If you want to control your ice cream portions, that's what they're good for. But uh, yeah, be, keep that in mind that they are quite small. Uh, there's the African Botanicals Therapy Gel. So many people say this works wonders for them. There are a couple people here and there who will say, oh, it did nothing for me. And then uh, some people say it does have a, a smell. I don't remember actually what the smell was. So you might want to go into the forum and search African Botanics and see what people said about the smell. Not a lot of, no one's, I think... Uh, actually, I think two or three people I saw agree, saw agree at one moment about the smell being kind of hard to deal with. Otherwise, people said no, that it didn't bother them. Here's that 100% Pure Company. This was the second runner-up in that poll that I did as far as vitamin C serums. Um, I'm not, uh, so Ahava is a, I have a hand cream from Ahava. They're cruelty free and they use decent ingredients and that's all I'm going to say about Ahava. Uh, well, I, well, okay, so <laughs> I, I'm brushing over Ahava because I use their hand cream and for some reason I'm just, I actually, no, I used their face overnight sleeping mask from the winter box too which was excellent okay so I have liked the Hava products that I have tried um, these Kula has just really 
uh, they uh, people just love Kula, but these are all chemical sunscreens. They all have questionable ingredients in them that are potentially toxic to our systems. We want to, if you are curious about um, about what that means, so all of these ingredients are chemicals uh, that are in sunscreens that are absorbed into our systems and could potentially be harmful to our systems. I have read that they are potentially contributors to cancer or thyroid or uh, thyroid issues or etc. Uh, endocrine issues. Yeah, so definitely steer toward the mineral sunscreens if possible. I do think it's better to wear sunscreen if it's a chemical sunscreen than to be in, in the sun without sunscreen. I do think that that's the lesser of the two evils. I don't, I don't, I am not a scientist though, so that's just my assumption. And that's based on what? I don't know. Sunburns? <laughs> okay, so more Dr. Brandt. Again, tests on animals, so I'm ruling that out for me. I have heard, I am not trying to push that on anybody, and I have heard that their stuff is amazing. So there's that. Uh, and then air, they have, that's how it's pronounced. And air is like, it's the name of a goddess that, represents using the earth for healing uh, using products from the earth from healing something along those lines their their products have a little uh, blurb about what air means and let's see uh people love the green goose stuff i have a dry skin tin from them and it feels like a bomb it feels like a bomb um there's the hay oh oh so this stuff if okay <laughs> so I looked this up I found them on Amazon there's a whole line and in this sale they only have the yellow and the green and these are both good for oilier skin look this up on Amazon there's like five different colors and there's a red one that would have been good for my skin type that they don't have available in this sale but definitely look into this these have amazing reviews it's Korean skincare which is just going crazy popular in the states um, but if they had the red one I would be trying it uh, there's the habanera oils they this okay so some people said that this smelled like, what did she say? It's, she said it reminded her of the way a cigar smells. So here you can see it's essences of cedar and saffron. Uh, I don't know about that smell for myself. So like I said, one of the ways that I have decided to eliminate things from my cart is that if this, some people love the smell and some people hate, hate the smell of something, I'm not going to get it because I just don't want to gamble there. And I people really really like this stuff but it's got that kind of a smell to it and I have I, I have been disappointed when I have gambled and gotten something and then the smell was just it became unusable for me so I'm not gonna get it and then the same deal with the body oil most people say that this that the habanera body oil is just excellent but I just don't know if I'll like the smell so if you're up for gambling, people people do love this, but the smell, I don't know. I don't know. There's the immunocology stuff again. People love it. Look at that retail value, $300. My goodness. Okay. Talked about that. I've talked about Juice Beauty. I've talked about Kate Somerville. I'm not a bath bomb person, so I don't know much about the bath bombs or bath salts. Oh, people love this mind tan stuff. The uh, woman, um, actually, the woman on the that I talked about already, this Nicole Lern Lerner, the Fab Fit Fun staff member who answers all of our questions. She said she really likes this one and she uses it maybe too much. She, she said. Um, uh, Murad, Murad rebranded. So I have used the old version of this cleanser and I saw some people confused about the fact that it says hydration here but then some people have said it's really drying. I have dry skin as you know if you watch my channel but and it was too drying for me but I wouldn't 
I would say if you have oily skin, it would be something I would recommend, except for the fact that it has multiple parabens. It has these two parabens in it. So if parabens are something that you're avoiding, I don't recommend this. Also, that it has pegs. And also, I have learned that Murad is also owned by Unilever, so I am steering away from Murad products. I have tried a few of their products. Oh, I also, this one's also rebranded, and I am just finishing up the old version of this. So, again, if if you're not worried about cruelty-free stuff or you're not worried about uh, harmful ingredients, this is a nice, unscented, lightweight moisturizer. It feels good to use, and I do recommend it if those other two things don't bother you. It is, it is quite nice. Uh, let's see if it has anything that jumps out at me here. Um... I don't see pegs in this. What's surprising? This one looks like <laughs> that looks like it's probably quite the preservative that could really I I don't know. I recommend uh, doing a search on that cosmetic uh, analyzer that I showed you earlier on in the video and seeing if that is something that could upset sensitive skin. That is quite a word. Um, okay, and then, oh, and then some people, a lot of people were talking about the toner as well. The toner, I have not used it, but there were many people who said that it smelled awful. When that happens, I really do wonder if that is from a bad batch that was distributed when people are saying that it smells so awful, like feet or vomit or something like that. I truly think that that's potentially a bad batch, but that's what people were saying about the toner from Murad. Uh, this one, um, not very many reviews. I ended up dumping that from my cart for that reason. I talked about Noto. I do love this company. I don't know anything about the scrub, though. This is an Italian company. I considered getting it, but I couldn't find enough reviews to make me feel confident that it was something that I would love. Same, this is the same thing, just a different scent. Uh... There's Rodeal again. Uh, people liked it, like I said, from the last sale. Oh, Rosen I, is another one of those that I can't find much on, not enough to make me feel comfortable to try, and uh, enough people saying that it was kind of unimpressive uh, that, that reinforced it. These are all uh, really intriguing. I, I ruled them out because they all have pegs, they're all really small. They're all one ounce. And um, and that was it. That was why I rolled these out. That was why I was really interested in the this one, I believe it was. And why was I interested in that? And then I decided to delete it. Um, I think I just ended up axing this one just because I didn't want it enough to, but they look very interesting they're small and then this 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 is the one I was interested in because it didn't have pegs it didn't have any ingredients in it that really alarmed me initially except for fragrances uh, as a rule just kind of it's one of those ingredients where you don't really know what's behind it because they're not are they are not required to tell us uh, so the skin owl beauty whip is this the one I was trying to think of? this is the one that can also be used as a primer. And I saw a YouTube video of somebody using this and demonstrating it and she, her makeup looked great and she said that it felt good and she liked it. Uh, Skin Owl is one of those awesome organic vegan cruelty free USA made uh, products or, or lines and yeah, so there's that. It's a, it can be used, it's multi-purpose. Uh, face mask primer and beauty drops booster. So that's that. There's the spongels. I'm not a spongel person. Uh, most people are. People love them. I'm not a spongel person. So there you go. At least I'm not competing with you for from for that. I remember <coughs> people saying bad things about this. <laughs> that's all. I just remember people saying that this was unim like no good. They didn't like it. Uh, there's the rodeo again. People are starting to say really good stuff about that. I, uh, 
Um, I have this Wish Almond Lip Scrub, and this actually kind of is a callback to my talking about how when I, I feel like when there's a lot of people saying that there was a product that smelled really, really awful, that it might be a bad batch because that happened to this Wish Almond Lip Scrub. Mine smells like cookie dough, and I want to eat the whole thing. So I am not getting another one because it is lasting me a long time. I have been... I feel like I barely put a dent in it and I use it a couple times a week. I think it's awesome and lovely and I would highly recommend getting it if you are on the fence about it. Uh, and it's five dollars. It's great. I really, really like it. That's the only thing by Wish that I have used. Um, or eBay. I saw somebody mention that these were heavily scented, the stuff in this collection. Uh, so I, if that's a problem for you, you might not want to get it. Here is uh, chlorine, um, not cruelty-free chlorine, Mortula. You know what's interesting is there is no, there's no superstar to this sale. There's always, there's usually a superstar product where everyone is just talking, can't stop talking about it. Everyone's pining for it and all of that. I have not seen that. I have not seen that. I have talked about the R and Co stuff. I'm excited to try some more of their things. I did try the scalp scrub. So with scalp scrubs, there are definitely two schools of thought here. And one is that they're amazing, and one is that they're a gimmick and they do nothing. I I did not have success with the scalp scrub, and I was able to sell it to a friend that I met through the forum. And uh yeah, but there are some people who say that they have that it was hard to get used to. They've figured out a way to work it into their scalp and really get it in there. And that it, there are people that struggle with clogged hair follicles on their scalp, and it's helped promote hair growth. And that there are people who have struggled with struggled with uh, flakiness and dandruff, and it has helped with their flakiness and dandruff. So. If you have issues for, with your scalp that you think something like this might be helpful for you, I would encourage you to try it out. It didn't work out for me, but I don't have those kinds of issues, so I'm definitely in the boat where I think that it it, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, and then I've, I, I, in general, have seen people say that the R&Co line of products is great. Uh, that's, that's all I got there. I haven't tried many of their products. There's the Tarte palettes and uh, the poll that I did. So here, I talked about that poll earlier. This is the one that won in that poll that it, uh, somebody said, one person said it was better for nighttime use and that this one was better for daytime. So that's why she voted for this one. And then another person said that she, because she had cool tone skin, this one worked better with her skin tone. But most people voted for this one. So I'm going with this one. I, I'm pretty sure my skin tone's neutral. I don't burn. Uh, and I have, I, yeah. And so I'm going with this one. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to use it in a get ready with me video. And it's going to be tons of fun. So uh, here's more Butter London stuff. Um, oh, this Aesthetica strobe, I saw one person who said that this was uh, poor quality. That's all I saw about it on the forum. I did not do a search on re general reviews in general because I wasn't interested in purchasing it. Here's more of that, uh, that product line that I don't know how to pronounce. And this is why I was saying that I feel like that mystery bundle, the beauty guru or whatever it was called, mystery bundle, it could be full of stuff from this product line that they're just trying to get rid of. So that's why I don't want to get that bundle at all. And then uh, Glam Glow is another one like Chlorine, like Dr. Brandt. They are not cruelty free. Um, I did see actually pretty decent reviews on this uh, eyeshadow palette. And look how fun and flirty those colors are. I ended up dumping it though because I really just wanted to try a Tarte palette. But I did see good reviews there. Uh, here's Ish. This is another line of cosmetics that uh, is, this is FabFit Fun's company, FabFit Fun's cosmetics line. And they, Ish has terrible reviews. Um, I, this is kind of a knockoff of uh, roller. I don't know if this is any good. It's made of a different, a different metal material. So if you're curious about this one, definitely read a little bit about comparing the metals that this one's made of versus the metals that the really high-end one that everyone sees is made of. 
I don't know too much about it, but I remember seeing somebody talk about that in the forum that this one isn't quite as good, but that could be wrong. That could be wrong, but that would be something that I would look into if I were curious about getting it. Um, Lash Star, I didn't end up looking too much into that. Uh, I talked about that. Um, this has good reviews on on the company's website on the phase zero blusher or th this I've never heard of this on this website it had good reviews um, let's see oh uh, so Smith and Cult uh, this had decent reviews not a lot this is a uh, shiny lip gloss and it is not long lasting that is why I dumped it from my cart if you like those though I would look into reviews on this again because I was seriously considering getting this but I I like long lasting lip colors so it's not for me uh, oh, the crown brush set, I have read from more than one per person that these are not good. I've also seen a couple of people say that they love it, but more of what the reviews I read, more a majority of the people said that they ended up not using them and getting rid of them. Uh, there's a huge debate about whether or not this is worth it. Some people say hands down it is worth it, and some people just say I just use my um, I use Dawn soap mixed with a little bit of olive oil, and that works just fine. And so there are a lot of methods and ways to clean your beauty blenders. And some people say that this is a total waste of money, and some people say it's amazing and works perfectly, and nothing compares. I have this Numi straightener. If you are on the fence about getting it, I highly recommend getting it. It is a significant upgrade to, from my Conair $20 straightener. I did a video actually comparing this straightener to my ancient Conair uh, Cheapo and the difference is just astounding. So if you need a straightener, you're on the fence. I do recommend springing for that one. And because I'm impressed by the straightener, I would say if you're on the fence about the curling wand and you know that you want a 25 millimeter cur curling wand, I think that I can feel comfortable recommending that you try it out. Uh, this, some people said that this has a silicone side to it. So silicone side to it. Oh, it, it says it in the description. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. And, and that was a deal breaker for a lot of people. Again, um, oh, well, I guess it's just this one. I was going to say, again, the electronics and things like that, a lot of people find that they get refurbished things. But I don't know if this would be... This item will ship separately from the rest of your order. See, that's, I think, where people often are complaining too is when things are shipping separately and those things are delayed and then they turn it turns out that that it's, that it's not available at all and then they have to wait for their refund and that just it seems like it can become kind of messy I really think this is just adorable I had this in my cart and I finally axed it because I just wanted to get my cart down but I just think that's so cute so cute okay Moving on. I think this one's really cute too. This one wasn't as hard for me to remove from my cart, but I was on the fence. I was on the verge of getting this too. I I actually mainly dumped it because it doesn't have a zipper, and I would like something that has a zipper. And also, I'm getting the tote and the customizations, and I thought it was similar enough to that kind of uh, style, that casual tote bag. Um, <laughs> Let's see. A lot of people really like the silked pillow case, silked pillowcases that they've been getting. I don't really get these kinds of accessories for myself. Oh, this one is interesting. If you go to the company's website, you will see that all of the other colors of this bag, they have blue, black, they have other colors. They are all $39.95, which is the price of this one, except for the green one, which is not on sale. It is like retailing for the $99 on their site. So if you're interested in a different color, go to their site and you can get a different color for the same price. You'll probably have to pay shipping, but that was an interesting thing to see that someone discovered on the forum. I think these are so cute, but I couldn't tell how big they were because they don't have anyone wearing it in the picture, but those are cute, aren't they? Uh, I, oh, I was, I really want this too. It's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. I'm trying to remember that these sales are 
for me, I get the most out of these sales because I can try the really high-end beauty products at a really inexpensive price, and I don't need to be buying the accessories. I had these in my cart for a while, too. I think they're so pretty. And this is one of the jewelry. See, sterling silver. That's what is really important to me, the sterling silver with the gold plate. That is a better material, I think. There was another pair. Oh, these. I thought these were really cute. I showed them to my husband, and he wasn't so into them, so that helped me make a decision, too. I was probably going to dump them anyway, but again, sterling silver, so I'm much more comfortable with that material. Um, this is interesting. If you're an exceptionally stinky person, this would be a really cool, natural thing to keep in your gym bag or something. I, <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. Here's another mineral toothpaste. Okay, the BKR bottles, people just love these. And then... People are raving about it all over the forum, and then sometimes someone will speak up here and there saying, huh, I find the opening to be too small. I feel like I can't get in there and clean it well, and, and et cetera. And I feel like if I own one of these, that's how I would feel. I would just feel like I couldn't get in there and clean it well. I don't like having anything really where I can't get my hand in to clean it. But, uh, well, that's not really the case with any water bottle, but I think that that's how I would feel if I had it. Um, these you can get at Costco. I've seen these at Costco, but that's in the last call, and people love the poopery. Um, I gave this. This was in the fall box. I gave it to my sister for Christmas, and she loves it. It's small. It makes about two cups of tea, and it's really, it's really, it's really adorable. Uh, this thing is so cool. This is a Tiki Torch Bluetooth speaker. It's so cool. If I had a yard, I would want to get two of those. Um, and again, I don't really get the accessories. And that is it. I am at the end of the sale. I need a drink of water. My throat hurts from talking so much. I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope that you're having fun with the sale. Again, I'm sorry if you're frustrated with the company. I hope that you will consider subscribing. And I will see you later.